Hello friends, Dan Nelson here, and this is actually take two. Some of you might have caught the the failed, the aborted uh, broadcast just a few minutes ago. As I say, it got aborted, so I'm doing this again. I want to talk about the right way to cheat, and I need to look you in the eyeball to do this. <laughs> First of all, please understand that all, as an artist, all cheating is legal. What do I mean by cheating? I mean projecting, tracing, measuring, any mechanical device or strategy uh, used to, especially in portraiture, to get the image down. That some of the greatest artists and almost all the greatest illustrators in the world have cheated. There's a big but coming. You ready? Cheating is legal. But <laughs> every time you cheat, your brain shrinks. <laughs> I like to put it in the most dramatic way possible. When you cheat, when I cheat, your skills deteriorate. And I don't know about you, but that thought strikes terror in my bones because I do not want my skills deteriorating. Okay, so let me re restate that again. Cheating is legal. Go ahead, do it. Anytime you want to, anytime you need to. There you go, there's a real word. Anytime you need to, cheat. As an illustrator, there are many times I, I have to cheat. But every time you cheat, your skills are going downhill. So, ah, you don't want to cheat too often. Therefore, I would like to give you my opinion on when it is appropriate, how to, <coughs> how to cheat the right way. And here it is. Let me go back to the painting. When, and especially in the realm of portraiture, here's the right way to cheat. The right way is take your image, in this case, it was a photograph printed off my printer and I laminated it. And I, it's one-to-one -one size. Even that could almost be called a cheating, a cheat, right? That it's one-to-one. -one. But, okay, I'll let that go. <laughs> and just do the best you can to copy this the old-fashioned way. Just like the cartoon artist. You know, stick up your thumb. You can, and I don't, no, I don't consider this cheating. You know, this kind of thing. That's not cheating. But just, just look. And, and, uh... And do the best you can. Grind those gears. Work. Try to make it work. Try to get it. And then when you're all done, you'll sometimes, I think, by the way, I, I make no pretense of trying to I pawn myself off as a great portrait painter. I am not. I'm eh, okay. I mean, okay. That's okay. I think I'm, I'm at about a point in my skill level right now where it's, I, I bat about 50-50. About half the time... When I do this, I get a perfect likeness. That's not very good average, I don't think. 50-50 is not a very good average. So here, I did not get it, right? I mean, you can tell this is supposed to be this kid. And this is a darling painting of a little boy. Unfortunately, it's just not this little boy. It's his brother. Are you with me? Right? Or his first cousin or double cousin or something. It looks like you can tell it's supposed to be him, but something's not right. So the right way to cheat is to work, 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 improve your skills, and then after that, second, in the second stage, cheat. Now, yesterday I actually showed you uh, another, a, a milder way to cheat. I took a picture of this, pic, of this painting, and then I took a picture of this, and I put them in my phone, and I even flopped them, and it, it showed me a whole bunch of things, little things, it showed me a bunch of little things that were wrong. I have since gone and corrected all those on this painting, and I was hoping that when I got to this point, I go, yay, it's a dead ringer for this little boy. But as you can see, it's not a dead ringer for this little boy. So, ah, uh, I, but this is the right way to cheat. Work, 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 work. So my skills are not deteriorating. If anything, my skills are getting better. But when I get to this point, and it's still not perfect, I had to do another even more radical cheat. Are you ready for this? So here's what I did. I took a piece of acetate. You can see this coming, can't you? I taped it onto the... Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm, I'm messing you up. I'm messing you up. <laughs> this is not what it is. I taped... <laughs> Confusing myself. Can you bleep that last 30 seconds? Okay, I took a piece of acetate and I taped it to the photograph. Then I took a Sharpie marker and I carefully traced the photograph. So every and it's careful, very careful. Every line is exactly in the right place. Are you with me? I hope I haven't confused you too much. I traced the photograph on acetate. So the, so now I've got 
a perfect line drawing of my little boy, right? Then, here's where I was getting ahead of myself. Then I line this up, especially right, with, line it up with the eyeballs, with the eyes. Lined it up just like that. And then took a picture with my camera. Click. Sent it to my computer. And then printed it off on my printer. So it looks like that. Are you, are you with me? Took the acetate, the, traced the photograph, put the photograph on top of the painting, take a picture, print it out. So now I can see, I mean, I didn't really need to print it out. I'm just doing this for you. I could have done it off my computer screen you see back there. Um, and now I see, well, first of all, uh, give me some kudos. The edge, of the, the edge of the face is dead on. Absolutely, can't, you can't ask for any more than that, I don't think. Except for down here, the chin. My chin gets a little bit long, so I need to take about almost an eighth of an inch. By the way, an eighth of an inch, that's not very much, right? It's no wonder we screw up. We're talking about tolerances that are so small. The ear is a little bit too low, so I need to raise the ear up almost a quarter of an inch. Here's the big one, the mouth. My mouth is too low, and now I look at it and, I look at it and go, see, here's where the proper use of cheating is where you can find out where you screwed up. Listen to me, not only that, if you use my technique, that is grind the gears, work, try, 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 work first, and then cheat second, after a while, you'll begin to discover patterns. You'll begin to discover, ooh, I often screw up in this way. So like, maybe one of mine, I don't think it is, but maybe one of mine is that I often make the mouth too low. Now one of mine is I often make the ear too close. I didn't do that here, I got the ear in the right place. Uh, one of mine is, uh, I tend to make the eyes, uh, the eyebrows too high, which I actually did here as well. Anyway, so now I look at it and go, ah, oh, doggone it, why didn't any of you tell me that mouth is too low? Can you see it now? Now that, now that I tell you, the, this, what's this called, the filbin? I forget what it's called, that, that line between our nose and our top lip. That, can you tell now that it's too long? I can. Why couldn't I see that earlier? Because I was blind. But now that I'm being, now that I'm being forced to it, I can see. The other things are this nostril is a little bit too low. Oh yeah, I say yeah. Now I can see it. It's a tiny bit. Not even an eighth of an inch, by the way. Just about a sixteenth of an inch too low. Again, that's the cut, the kind of tolerances that I'm talking about. Um, th that's enough. I'm gonna, you know, you can see the rest from there. Um, just a, a couple another comments. Uh, first of all. It is mildly embarrassing to admit all of this in front of you all, in front of international TV. <laughs> Isn't YouTube great? <laughs> my my mother-in-law, who is 90, nearly 90 years old, still thinks it's marvelous that people watch me from Europe. <laughs> it's like, Mom, it's, it's the internet. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> somebody from, from Romania was watching Dan. <laughs> go, yeah, Mom, it's the internet. Anyway. Uh, anyway, so it's embarrassing to admit to people in Romania <laughs> that I've screwed up so bad. Um, but um, I hope it, I'm, I'm willing to endure the embarrassment if it helps you, and it actually helps me be a better artist. So I'm going to make these corrections and then hopefully bring you back in in a little while and let you see when I've actually succeeded at this portrait. But I hope that's instructive. This is very important. Know when to cheat. Not at the beginning of the process, at the end of the process. And then your brain continues to grow. <laughs> you get smarter. Uh, you get better at your skill. Plus, you, eventually, because you can't sell some, you can't really can't give somebody a portrait if it's not dead on. At least that's my opinion. Uh, just one more thought. Um, I've admitted how, in a sense, embarrassing this is to show you, in a sense, my dirty laundry in front of you all. But uh, a word of encouragement, I take, took a class one time from one of the biggest, biggest, big dogs in American portraiture, old guy, old big dog, not Kunstler, not Nelson Shanks, that eliminates two of the biggest, and the, the only one, he has the same first name as me, okay, and he's good, he's really good, frighteningly good, old and good, <laughs> I want to be as good as him someday, but I'm not even close, but I've seen him screw up. I just, I'll just tell you, he did a portrait, he did a sketch in a, a portrait, a painting, in a clinic of one of my friends. And as soon as I saw it, I said, ooh, he messed up right there. So I just, a little bit of encouragement for me, I'm not the only one that messes up, and a, little, a lot of encouragement, I hope, for many of you, 
Uh, even the big dogs mess up sometimes. So don't be discouraged. And of course, I'm talking primarily about portraiture here, the hardest thing in the world to do. So I'm going to make those changes, and I hope that's helpful to you. I'll, uh, again, I'll show you this portrait when I finally nailed it. Thanks for watching. If you like this, subscribe and click like. Appreciate it. Bye.